You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace, Chairman of the United States Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, Senator Richard Burr, and a delegation from the United States Senate upon the visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the senator and the accompanying delegation and reviewed with them the historic and strategic relations between the two countries, affirming his pride in the Bahraini U.S. relations that are based on mutual respect and trust, as well as cooperation and coordination in all fields. His Majesty hailed the role of the American community in Bahrain and the contribution in various fields of development and expressed aspiration for the development of the Bahraini-U.S. relations in all fields. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain continues to develop in all fields, expressing pride in the Bahraini values of solidarity and respect of all religions and sects. His Majesty noted the U.S.'s role and efforts in maintaining the regional and international security and stability, affirming the Kingdom's support to these efforts. His Majesty also noted the importance of such visits that strengthen relations and cooperation between the two countries. Senator Burr expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King's keenness to develop and consolidate the historic relations between the two friendly nations, hailing Bahrain's role in maintaining the security of the region in cooperation with the United States. He also affirmed the U.S.'s keenness to develop these relations and bolster cooperation to maintain the region's stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the Kanu family to offer his condolences on the demise of Mubarak bin Jassim Kanu, praying to Allah to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty recalled the achievements of the late Mubarak Kanu and his contributions to the commercial development of Bahrain, as well as his humanitarian initiatives and charity work, affirming that he had dedicated his life and services to his country and community. His Majesty also highlighted the role of the Kanu family and its contributions to the economic, investment, and charitable activities and projects aimed at serving the Bahraini society. For their part, the Kano family members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments and sincere condolences. They wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today a Libya panel of senior officials, journalists, businessmen, intellectuals, and a number of members of the Representative Council, where he discussed with them a number of local affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the kingdom will remain strong under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He recalled with pride the honorable stances of the people of Bahrain in defending their country, saying that the people's patriotic stances alongside the government were able to thwart all treacherous attempts aimed at undermining Bahrain's unity, security, and stability. The Premier stressed the importance of unity in the face of all attempts to spread hatred and sedition among the Bahraini society. He then warned against the negative effects of misusing social media, expressing thanks and appreciation to writers, media figures and activities on social media for interacting with the cause. His Rohanis affirmed the importance of unity and cooperation in the build-up process of the country and its development, highlighting the encouragement of all efforts exerted for the sake of the kingdom's prosperity. He also stressed that those who try to drag the country to division shall not succeed in their task. Ask. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to the members of the representatives and Shura councils for their cooperation with the executive authority and their keenness on instating the spirit of cohesion in their efforts of achieving the citizens' aspirations. His Royal Highness praised the role of media and press for their covering of all issues related to public affairs within the framework of national responsibility. He also commended Bahraini women for their perseverance and achievements, which enabled them to be role models.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebe Palace the Minister of Royal Court Affairs Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa who presented to His Royal Highness an invitation to his son's wedding Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Royal Court Affairs for the invitation congratulating Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa and wishing him a happy marital life. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa visited today the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. During the visit, His Royal Highness received a briefing on military upgrades and skills development programs intended to increase operational capabilities and experiences. His Royal Highness emphasized the important role of the BDF in safeguarding the Kingdom's security and stability and noted His Majesty the King's continued support for the BDF's operational development efforts. His Royal Highness went on to highlight the participation of BDF personnel led by the BDF Commander-in-Chief in specialized military programs across the region, noting that their wide-ranging and valued contributions reflect the BDF's commitment to upholding regional security. His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, the BDF's Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and a number of senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received today at the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force U.S. Senator Richard Burr along with a number of U.S. Senators. Present also at this meeting was Commander-in-Chief of the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa in addition to a number of officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that the strategic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America is based on a high level of communication and effective coordination which is supported by the the close visions on various issues and the necessity of maintaining security and stability on the international scene. His Royal Highness also stressed the need to continue efforts to build on what has been achieved in the field of combating terrorism through effective policies and actions, citing it as a shared responsibility of the international community as a whole and promoting further development gains that benefits everyone. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Honorary President of the Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the great success of His Majesty the King's Endurance Cup and the victory of Arod Stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted the, His Majesty's attendance of the championship, reflecting his unlimited support to the endurance sport. His Highness also lauded the presence of the 
Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, hailing in this regard the participation of the Emirati riders in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that this race is a prominent sports event among the Bahraini endurance races due to the unwavering support it receives from His Majesty the King. His Highness also commended the role of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federations and its chairman, the President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the stable riders and their outstanding performances, affirming to continue support for this sport. His Highness commended the role of sponsor Gulf Finance House Group and its contributions to the success of the race, adding that the support of the group aids the development of the sport in Bahrain. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Royal Charity Organization Board of Trustees, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa RCO held today its annual celebration. The annual ceremony is in recognition of the efforts exerted by the executive management and the staff members in implementing the directives of His Majesty the King and in providing the different kinds of care to all families affiliated with the RCO. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the royal and parental care of the RCO Honorary President, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, underscoring His Majesty's keenness to provide comprehensive services and care to all RCO families to ensure a decent and stable life for everyone. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that His Majesty's support had a great impact on the development of charity work inside and outside Bahrain with achieving the successes reached by the RCO. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also lauded the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also extended the greetings of His Majesty the King to all the members of the RCO Board of Trustees and Staff, commending on their efforts and vital role in the service of orphans and widows. Sheikh Nasser also praised the community partnership and constructive cooperation of the different national institutions and companies. During the ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the Employee of the Year and the employees who achieved certificates of excellence and appreciation during 2017. For his part, RCO Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the precious trust and great support provided to the organization. He also lauded the efforts exerted by the RCO staff in implementing the directives of His Majesty the King and providing the different comprehensive care to Bahraini orphans. During the ceremony, a film was screened about the services of the RCO and staff member Ahmed Jassim gave a speech on behalf of all employees. A short film entitled Passenger Produced by the RCO was played. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa continues his training to participate in the lightweight competitions in the strongest Bahraini Man Championship held under his patronage and organized by His Highness's media office themed Be a Monster from February the 22nd until the 24th. His Highness dedicated the proceeds of the championship to the support of cancer patients, which come within His Highness's initiative supporting humanitarian 
humanitarian and sports fields. Nizan al-Shakhalid affirmed that his participation in the championship motivates Bahraini youth to participate as well and showcase their technical and physical capabilities, noting his support to the youth. Nizan has hailed the wide participation of Bahrainis in the championship, which encourages young people to practice various sports. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the wide participation motivates him to perform his best and praised the efforts of the championship's supreme organizing committee. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by the Council's chairman, Ali bin Saleh Hassalah. The Council approved a majority of the recommendations submitted by the Council's Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on its supplementary report regarding a draft law of organizing the registration of births and deaths accompanied by Royal Decree 91 of 2013. The Council approved the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee's recommendations of a number of articles following their renumbering. Under the patronage of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, and the presence of the President of Bank Salam, Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Al Iman School organized the Achieving Success Forum to discuss their experience participating in the Arabic Reading Challenge to government and private schools. The Education Minister delivered a speech in which he hailed Al Iman School's initiative of organizing the forum to demonstrate their efforts of achieving honorable results in the competition. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's pride in the outstanding achievement the school has made, noting the Ministry's keenness on developing developing students' reading skills through the continuous update of school curricula and the employment of information and telecommunication technology in education. He noted that the ministry obligates private schools that include Arab students to teach them a number of subjects in Arabic and to provide the required books for free. For her part, the principal of the girls' section in Al Iman School, Farad Talaymat, stated that the forum aims to unify future visions between government and private schools and to increase distinguished educational competencies who contribute to the improvement of educational outcomes in all its stages. The 13th edition of the Spring of Culture 2018 was launched today, offering Bahrain's audience a variety of choices from all over the world and activating the local cultural landscape over the festival's two months. In a press conference held today, the announcement was made by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, the Economic Development Board, the EDB, the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research, in collaboration with Al Barah Art Gallery and La Fontaine Art Center of Contemporary Art at the Bahrain Fort Saint Museum. The conference was held in the presence of the president of the BACA, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, EDB Chief Executive Khalid Al Mahi, and a number of diplomats and ambassadors in Bahrain, as well as a number of sponsors of the Spring of Culture and members of the media. The event is part of BACA's year long celebrations of Muharraq's selection as the 2018 Capital of Islamic Culture. The various events and activities of the festival are designed to engage all segments of society, from arts and crafts exhibitions to intellectual lectures and talks, poetry readings, music, and song concerts and theatrical performances. Performances. The Ministry of Housing announced today its distribution of a number of residential units to women listed in on waiting lists in the eastern head city and apartments in Hajiat and Tubli, marking the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter and commensurating with the constitutional warranties of Bahraini women's rights. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, said that the distribution process stems from His Majesty the King's support of the housing sector to provide adequate housing for citizens and from Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess. Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, appreciation of the role of women as an essential partner in society and supporter of the development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa through His Majesty's reform project. He added that the ministry is keen on providing the right for housing for women, which is one of the important rights guaranteed by the Bahraini constitution, which ensured women's inclusions in the categories eligible for housing services. The Masakan project is one of the main projects that reflect the ministry's keenness to provide housing needs for women and the result of cooperation between the Supreme Council for Women and the Housing Ministry. The Bahrain Economic Development Board gathers investors in Bahrain in a reception to celebrate with them a record year for inward investment in 2017, in line within its mandate to act as a catalyst for economic growth. More on this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain Economic Development Board celebrates with its investors a record year for inward investment in 2017, having attracted 71 new companies to Bahrain, with investments amounting to 733 million US dollars, expected to increase job creation by those companies by up to 72 percent, generating more than 2,800 local jobs over the next three years. We are seeing record numbers being generated across jobs, across numbers of companies, across 
dollars of, of direct investment into the country. It's great news and it is really down to the efforts, not only of the Economic Development Board, but the trust and confidence of our investors and frankly the government and the, uh, the regulation that we have seen enhanced over 2017 that has encouraged investors to choose Bahrain as their location for their investment in the GCC. The record number of investments in 2017 represents a significant increase of 161% compared to 2016, which saw 281 million US dollars in investments from 40 companies. We support uh, enterprise customers across the GCC. We've initially invested a million and a half dollars in uh, setting up our initial uh, uh, point of presence in Bahrain. It's been very successful so far for the last two years. We've hired over 250 uh, Bahrainis. We have around 92% Bahrainization. We have around 45% uh, female labor force. We've been established for about four years in Hong Kong and uh, we work together with the EDB to build our regional office for the whole region, for the MENA region here in Bahrain. It's been a great experience so far. Uh, we brought in our human capital and our education and our uh, knowledge of manufacturing and working in IoT. And it's been a great experience so far. I think uh, Bahrain has amazing talent. Our project is actually divided into two uh, you know, versions. The first one is an uh, oil and gas uh, construction business. Uh, and then the second one is a uh, pipe manufacturing plant in Bahrain. The total investment for these both jointly is uh, uh, more than 30 million US dollars. The investments span key strategic growth sectors, including ICT, the highest attractor of inward investment, manufacturing attracting a fifth of the total investment, transport and logistics, tourism and financial services. We have presence in Bahrain since 2002. Bahrain has one of the best uh, infrastructure within the region. We used to have presence in Qatar and Dubai. We wind up our op operation and moved back to Bahrain. Uh, especially Central Bank of Bahrain has one of the best uh, both legal and regulatory environment. It provides one of the best environment to the investors in Bahrain. The support we get from the authorities from all over is, uh, is the best part of uh, investing in Bahrain. Uh, uh, we have six hypermarkets. We're opening more hypermarkets. We're the largest employers of Bahrainis as a retailer. And we continue to expand uh, our businesses in, in this great country. Bahrain is in a unique position to attract investments from international and regional companies seeking to access opportunities across the GCC markets thanks to the kingdom's strategic location and highly supportive regulatory environment which provides businesses with advanced infrastructure, low operating costs and highly trained local workforce. The EDB celebrates a record year for inward investment in 2017 with investors who have been part of the success within its mandate to act as a catalyst for economic diversification, growth and job creation. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour.